Shruti Shruti Purana Nam Shruti Shankaram Shankaracharyam Keshavam Padarayanam Sutra Pasha Kuto Vande Vagabanto Punaf Punaha Ishwaro Guru Ratmeti Murti Peda Bipagini Bioma Vatviata de Haya Bioma Vatviata de Haya Gukarasvanda Karovai Gukarasvanda Karovai Gukarasvanda Karovai Guru Ritya Bidhi Yate Sada Shiva Samaram Shankaracharya Madhyamam Asmadacharya Paryantam Vande Guru Param Param Om Sahana Bhavatu Sahana Bhunaktu Sahaviryam Karapavahai Sadhvi <laughs> Vasudevendra Yogindram Natva Gyana Pradam Gurum Mokshodam Hitarthaya Tatva Bodho Vidhiyate in Tattva, Tattva Bodha, we have finished Adhikarita portion. Now, we already entered, but we have to see Atma Tattva Viveka, the name of second topic. The third topic will be Jagataha Utpatti. And last one will be Jeeva, Jeeva Brahma Aikyam. And last one is Jeeva Nita. So total five topics being discussed in Tattva Bodha. We have finished Adhikaritvam. Second one is called Atma Tattva Vivekaha, Jagata Utpatti. Jeeva Brahma Aikyam and last one Jeevan Mukta. 
So we will change up to here. Then we so second topic, Atma Tattva Vivekaha. First, Tattva Vivekaha Kaha. Atma Satyaha. Tat Anyat. Sarva Mithya Iti. Atma Kaha. Stool is Sukhma car and a sherry rat. Sakshi Sachit Ananda Sarupahasan Sachit Ananda Sarupahasan Yastishati Saatma His son, the meaning of son is not S-O-N son also. The meaning of son is not S-U-N also. But the meaning of son is being. Like in being. When I think Gujarati, I think being. So now student has asked Tattva Viveka Hakaha. Actually, this is no name. This teacher, Guru, has proclaimed Vakshyamaha, I will tell you. And what Guruji will tell you? So he says, Tattva Viveka Prakara Vakshyamaha. I will teach a method of discrimination about what is the truth. Bhakshyamaha. Then if somebody asks, by understanding Tattva Viveka Prakara, what is this? How can it be helpful? Then is Moksha Sadhana Bhuta. The understanding of the truth is helpful, is in the form of, form of the direct means of knowledge of Moksha. But who are the qualified? Then teacher has said, who are qualified means who is endowed with these four fold qualities. So these four fold qualities is explained. That topic is over. Now, Tattva Viveka Prakaram, that student has picked up. The second topic is Tattva Viveka Prakaram. That also we have seen now. Definition we will Atattva Viveka Hakaha. And replied is Atma Satyaha Tad Anyat Sarva Mithya. So one new word has come Atma. So we have to understand what is Atma. So here it is not given. Definition I would not like to give is a one shloka. But Apnoti Sarvam is called Atma. Apnoti Sarvam is called Atma. One who is all pervaded is called Atma. So again, Atma is not some particular name like Brahman is not any particular name. Same way, Atma is not any particular name. Jeev Shabda will come, but we are using two words. One is called Jeevatma, another is called Atma. And people are generally confused between what is Jeevatma and what is Atma. So if I write here Atma and Jivatma. 
actually jiva plus atma, jivatma, and another is called atma. The definition of atma we have seen, which is all pervading, is called atma. Then how when person died, then that atma travels from one, one body to another body. So this atma cannot travel because it is all pervading. Like space is all pervading, space cannot travel from Porbandar to Kolkata, Porbandar to U.S. Space cannot travel because space is space every day. Then Atma cannot be traveled from one body to another body. So who travels from one body to other, another body is called Jivatma. So what is the difference between Atma and Jivatma? I think detail will come in Tattva Bodha because Jiva Brahma Ekya topic is there. But still, suppose there is a pot full of water, another pot full of water, and sun is here. Still, there are limitations, but still, sun's reflection we can see inside the pot. And if we can see the reflection of sun here, then if this sun start, I am sun. This is SU and sun. Now, if sun starts thinking, I am sun, and how how much I I am, what is the limitation of myself? Then he says the limitation of the reflected image that I that I am the sun. So it is uh, correct or wrong, sun cannot be that much limited. Same way it says Atma is all pervading. Atma is everywhere, suppose everywhere. Atma means live consciousness. In Puja Samaj's definition is a throbbing consciousness. Everywhere is a consciousness. In that consciousness, subtle body will come. Subtle body's definition will come immediately. But subtle body comes. Bhagavan has made subtle body in such a way that this subtle body looks like life. Like sun appear inside the water, it looks like a sun only. Same way, when subtle body comes, not comes near, everywhere is consciousness, but when subtle body comes in contact with this consciousness, then this subtle body starts thinking, I am alive, I am an Atma, but how much I am? The limitation of this body, of Stula body, body and Sukshma body are called Jivat. So one who identify oneself as subtle body. Identify with oneself is called Jivat. In traveling of who is possible, Atma or Jivatma, then this sthula sharira never travels after death. So who travels? Only subtle body. An interesting thing is Bhagavan has given only one subtle body to each and every body. So in every life, we are traveling with one only one subtle body. So what we are collecting? All sanskara always available in our subtle body. That's why somebody starts, why I can play the class? Somebody asks, how can I start playing or singing without any teacher? So we are carried forward. So this in all subtle body, this everything is stored in traveling of Jivatma is possible, not Atma. Because in any, this in newspaper, in Hindi, in Gujarati say, Bhagwan Tena Atma Ne Shanti Ap is written always. Atma doesn't need any shahati. It is always peaceful. But people always say Atma. It is not correct. It's not, it's not correct. It is a wrong. Jivatma is shanti, not Atma. Because Atma is everywhere. All for me. So we are talking about Atma, not Jivatma. So when student asks, what is Tattva Viveka? Kaha, what is Tattva Viveka? Then Tattva Vivekaha means Vivekaha means enquiry. Vivekaha is not uh, this person is very modest, he does 
pranam to everyone is not viveka but viveka means here vichara enquiry so what is enquiry so about tattva about truth and truth what we would like to know the truth of about oneself who am i that i would like to enquire then guru ji says atma satya accept everything tad tat atma anyat accept atma everything is mithya iti so atma satya then again we have to find out what is the meaning of satya wrong me manasi pratishtita mano me vachi pratishtita is called satya satyam bruyat is called satya there are many definition of satya he always say please tell me the truth at that time satya means what we speak is always truth so here this meaning satya is also technical here the meaning of satya is not like a telling a truth but the meaning of satya the definition is given here so we can write also satyam vadishyami rutam vadishyami that satyam is different and this satyam is also different so definition of satyam is yat swarupam yena nishchitam tat swarupam navya vicharati tat satyam a form a nature is confirmed in confined by which nature that nature never gets changed navya vicharati it's called satya so this is the definition of satya and we have seen in detail what is the satyam of salt fire so need not to be again repetition but this is called the satya swarupam here we can take satya means swarup yeah so we can have two meaning of satya right now one satya is to telling a truth is called satya and another meaning of satya means swarup so only right now it clicks another is called swarup here nature is not a nature but swarup nature again i am my nature is moody my nature is doubty so here i cannot use the word of swarupam nature swarupam is swarupam which never gets change so this is called satya and another word is called mithya so tat anyat except in this tat means except sat atma sarvam mithya in the last time on i think friday wednesday we have seen there are existent non existent and another is in between existence which cannot be exist we can't say it is existent which can't say it is non existent in between this is called mithya so one definition of mithya i have given here aadhara ananyatva for one's own existence one need are dependent on other are called mithya aadhara ananyatva and another is called what is put together puts together is also called mithya so we have seen the satya of pot is nothing clear because the weight of the pot is also clear wherever we touch is we never touch clay pot we always touch clay only the truth of this clay pot is called clay but now people ask what is the truth of the clay so we have to again go reverse So if we ask, clay is dependent on what? 
So suppose Vrittika is called clay. Vrittika and Satyam is a relative. Is a clay. Clay is Satya or clay is Mithya. If we ask, then say Vrittika cannot be exist without Prithvi. Because in Prithvi only clay is available. So this is Satya. Temporarily, Vrittika we can call as a Mithya. Then again we ask, Prithvi is Satyam? Then we say, Prithvi is not Satyam, Jalam is Satyam, Apaha, Prithvi. So Prithvi is Satyam, uh, Jalam is Satyam. Again we ask, Jalam is Satyam? Then we say, no, Agni is Satyam, Jalam is Mithya. Again, if these are called Vichara, this is called Vichara, Viveka. Then we ask, Agni is Satyam? Then we say, Agni is not Satyam, but Vayu Satyam. Again, we ask, Vayu Satyam? Then we say, Akashah Satyam. Again, we say, Akash, Akashah Satyam. Then we say, no, Akash, because of... Still, I can write, Chaitanya Tattva plus Maya. Out of this, only Akasha is thrown. Again, we say, Chaitanya Tattva and Maya, both are Satyam. Then say Maya also depended on Chaitanya Tattva. Last one is consciousness is Satyam. Then what is the truth of the consciousness? Then he says, Karanam Vahinam. It doesn't have any cause. Then only it's called Satyam. It doesn't depend on anyone. That's why that story always comes. We laugh in Purana, but it always, some meaning is there. When Shankar and Parvati's marriage has started, then Krishna has asked, you have to give three lineage of your father. So first he says, my first father mother is Vishnu and Lakshmi ji. Then he says, who is the father of Vishnu? Then he's Brahma ji. Then he says, okay, Brahma Saraswati. Then who is the father of Brahman? Then he gives myself. Shiva is my So he said, all three are names only. Ultimate, they are Chaitanya. So Chaitanya is Satyam. It's called Satyam. Then Mithya is, they are dependent on anything. Are called Mithya. Adhara, Ananyat. And another meaning I have given is called put together. Everything in put together are called mithya. They are useful. So whatever, when people just condemn the word mithya, it is not correct. The meaningful, useful is only mithya, never satya. If lump of clay is sitting in front of us, is it useful or this is useful? So we say this is useful. Same way, they can put this word biscuit inside the there, what we say in bank, but this bank, this gold of biscuit is useful to create some ornament. Then it is useful. Otherwise, what's the meaning? Keeping it. Then we die. Everything will go away. Nothing will be in our hand. So anything, <clears throat> what are the nitya is put together. Another and what put together is always useful to us. This body is also put together. Even flower, anything in the world is nothing but put together only. If we take earth, so there are many things are available in the earth, then this earth is also put together. So more and more, we see inside the things, everything is put together, but each and everything doesn't have their own existence. They are depends on something else. So I, I was reading Puja Swami's Tattva Hoda. He says one person has uh, keep four tire together, one steering, one gear, and some light, some rubber, and some iron. He says, this is my car. So everybody says, how can you say the car? So everything is available. No? Four tire is there, one steering is there. I have kept one bulb also. This one are right. But still, we can't say it's a useful because this put together but doesn't have any meaning. 
So if put together and meaningful and useful are called mithya. So another meaning is myth. So we have seen on that day, even each and every what we are doing, more and more we do vichara, inquiry, nothing sustain. Walking, we can't say this particular action is called walking. Even speaking, we are this movement, lip, lip movement is called, is called speech, or a tongue movement is called speech. To whom you are speaking? Anything we cannot explain. Kali is called Mithya. But still, Mithya is useful, not Satya. Why? Because it's put together, it's meaningful and useful. It's called Mithya. So this is the definition given by teacher. Atma Satya Tad Anyat Sarvam Mithya. Even this word is all is very important. Sarvam means everything, including our body, mind, sense, complex also. Everything is Mithya. Then now Shishya will ask, what is that Atma? If Atma is only Satya, then what is that Atma? Then we have changed, but the next answer is given by teacher. Atma Kaha. What is that Atma? The long definition is given by teacher. He says, Stula Sukshma Karana Sharirat. Here, Sharirat, fifth case. Vyati Riktaha Pancha Kosha Aditaha Avasthatraya Sakshi. Satchidananda Svarupahasan Yahatishchati Saatva. So there are many new words, technical words have come. First is called Sharira. We, we say Sharira, but what is the meaning of Sharira? One who is subject to decline is called Sharira. Shiryatvat Sharira. There is one verb in Sanskritam, Shirya, Jiryate, Shiryate, Iti, Sharira. When we are born, at that time we would like to show everybody that this is my photo. How cheerful, how innocent. But after 60 years, nobody would like to show their photo because Sharira means Shirya is subject to decline. Shiryatva Sharira. In total, how many Sharira we have? Then Guruji says, Stula, Sukshma, Karana Sharira. But Atma is distinct from this three Sharira. Yati Riktaham is distinct other than. Again, he says, Panchakosha Atitaha. Beyond Panchakosha. You know, Koshaha is the word. Scabbard, you know, scabbard. When we, where we keep our talwar, is called scabbard. Myan, what you call myan? It's called scabbard in English. We keep our that talwar, that uh, what we call sword, in our scabbard. What we call in Hindi? Myan, I don't know in Hindi word. It's called scabbard. So at that time we say this sword is right now we can I cannot able to see is in unmanifest so we are not able to see same way we are committing mistake at five level to consider ourselves as yatma so this five level this level is called kosha so nowadays even sometime before also people would like to show 
One, two, three, four, five. And inside of my sitting here. This is, they would like to show. There are five layers. In among five, ever somewhere, you know, like sitting Atma, like a small child. It is not like that. Because Atma is all pervading. How it can, it can sit in some place? So the meaning of this all layer, this all la layer, we are committing mistake. That's why it's called Kosha. Like we cannot able to see a sword if inside the scabbard, same way is this level. In Sanskritam is called Kosha. Scabbard is called Kosha. I don't I don't know how to. Draw. Suppose this is cause sword is like that. I don't know. He suppose then we put in the scabbard so we cannot able to see the sword. So if somebody asks, are you with the sword? Then we say we don't have, then people cannot be able to see. Same way, if suppose say, aham, sthula sharira, who are you? Then I'm 60 kg. I'm fat, I am male, female. So we are committing mistake, considering oneself is the atma. So first level mistake is called kosha. Second level mistake, Pranamaya Koshaha, third level mistake is called Manamaya Koshaha, fourth level mistake is called Vignanamaya Koshaha, and fifth level Anandamaya. This Samadhi is also mistake. So it, at that time it called Anandamaya Koshaha means either sleep or Samadhi. When we feel always happy, why people are taking sleeping pills? Because in sleep, we are always in heaven. We are always happy. That's why it's called Anandamaya Koshaha. So this Atma is beyond this Pancha Kosha. The five layers when we are committing mistake is not like that, what I am telling. This is Puja Samaji style. One, two, three, four. And people, even I have photographs, they are saying, here Atma is sitting. <laughs> so Atma is not sitting in one of my kosha, Atma is not sitting anywhere, Atma is sitting like this. It cannot be possible. Because of Atma, they all are alive. But we consider ourselves, I am this much only, it's called we are committing mischief. So this Atma is even beyond this five sheets or layers, again, avastha traya sakshi is the witness of three states in four, 24 hours. We keep on changing our states. One is called Jagrat, Swapna, and Sushupti. In Jagrat is called Vaiki. Sapna is called dream and Sushupti is called deep sleep. Atma is knower of these states, but Atma is not these states. It's called Sakshi. Avastha, and I have given the meaning. What is the meaning of Avastha? Natishtati, it is called Avastha. Ava, which can be always keep on changing. Ava, stha is actually tishtati, which cannot remain as it is, is called avastha. That's why balya avastha, shishu avastha, yuva avastha, adult, then this jara avastha, all are the same way. Mrityu is also avastha, janma is also avastha. Keep on changing is called avastha. Yeah, one thing I didn't explain, but I think it will come when Mithya Shabda will more explain. Suppose in English, one who knows English, if I say A is equal to B, B is equal to C, 
then any possible no a is equal to c so third one is called a is equal to c same way if we say now little bit we know ishvara is equal to jagatah he became everything ishvara is also in the form of jiva then we can say jiva and jagat is also nothing but one and same suppose i say atma is a body how can i explain when this is not ishvara let me hold jagatah is not like this ishvarah is jagatah and we are is a part of jagat we are a part of jagat so we can say we are belongs to jagat we are a part of jagat then is jiva then can it possible let a is equal to b is equal to same way is jiva ishvar ekyam is called ishvara is equal to jiva same way it is given it it means a little bit early but if we say atma is equal to body a is equal to b i can say atma is equal to body a is equal to b atma is equal to body but i can say body is not equal to atma is called satya mithya this is only two layers we can say atma is all pervading so body can include in all pervading so we can say each and every body are nothing they all belongs to atma but without body also can atma sustain body is mithya it is it is dependent but atma need not anything for it own sustenance so we can say body is not equal to atma because body is atma but atma doesn't need body to its sustenance so a is equal to b but b is does not equal to a same way this body is atma but atma cannot equal to a because atma without body also we can sustain so this is called satya mithya if you don't understand we will explain what but this is called satya mithya so avastha traya sakshi satchidananda sarva so what is the real nature of atma is called satchidananda sarva then we will say later actually sat is called existent here chit is there here sat here chit and ananda sat is called existent chit is called consciousness in ananda means which is not bound by time space and anything is called ananda this is the swarupa of atma yah one who remains is called sah atma so what teacher has start you know it is called negation in sanskrit or vedanta we have seen neti neti ka so generally people starts thinking what is the neti neti but neti neti is now something now you know now plus iti are you body we say if i am not body some nana it's called neti so neti is called negation so what is the style of vedanta first it starts to teach us with negation only we generally committing mistake i am body means this thul sharira i am so first negation will start you are not thul sharira not sukshma sharira so at all level the negation will start it is called badha prakriya in sanskrit particularly in vedanta badha prakriya 
negation is called bada prakriti. When everything is negated, then if we have that knowledge, yeah, I understand, I am consciousness. Then second stage, Vedanta will say, here there is nothing jada. Everything is only consciousness. First they say body is jada, you are not jada, you are conscious. Again, you are conscious of your body, you are consciousness, conscious about your subtle body. Thus they negate all this body as a jada, as an inert. But when we come in conclusion, yeah, I am not stool sharira, I am not sukshma sharira, I am only consciousness, then same Vedanta will say, here nothing is jada, everything is consciousness. So two level teaching. Like people may ask, how can it possible? Everything is jada in front of me only. The answer will be given. Like in our own dream, we are seeing many jad things, many inert things in our, our dream, but all they are inert, all are sentient. If they are jada, then our brain must be as broken. If everything is water, is river is sitting inside our dream, if any, any this gross item is sitting, then what will happen to this body? So whatever, whatever we are seeing inert in our dream, actually is not anything inert, is everything is sentient only. Same way here also. Right now, we are seeing everything is sentient and inert. But last Vedanta will say, Isha Vasemidam Sarva. Otherwise, everything is here, nothing but consciousness. But first thing, it will start where? Well by negation. So that's why I have written here, So Vedanta teaches in two steps, difference between sentient and insentient, otherwise inert. Like they will keep separate, your body is jada, you are chet. Your subtle body is also jada, you are chet. Everything is look like inert, you are sentient. Then we understand perfectly, then Vedanta will teach, there is only one thing here, Nothing jada, only its own consciousness. But first, bada will start. This negation will start. Then original teaching will, you are that will start. And here, whatever mentioned, no? Stula, Sushma, to Vedanta teaches this whole Jagat Jiv in three prakriyas that they have written, prakriyas. Prakriya also in English is called methodology. Like there are many methods are available in maths, in science, met method. Same way in Vedanta, there are main three methods. One is called Karya Karana Prakriya. Another is Pancha Kosha Prakriya. And third one is called Avasthatraya Prakriya. Because all are given here. Sula Pancha in Pancha Kosha also in Avastatri. Everything will be treated in brief in Tattva Bodha. And now, now I have split all Sandhi and again I have written this Vakya. <clears throat> Yaha means one who Susthula sukshma karana sharirat yatiraktaha. So, a thing which is other than or distinct from this thula sukshma karana sharira, one who is beyond pancha kosha So, I have given this name. Detail will come when this portion will come. So, this Myself is this Atma is beyond of Annamaya, Pranamaya, Vignamaya, Anandamaya, and Avasthatraya Sakshi. The meaning of Avasthatraya Sakshi is three Avastha, waking, dream, and sleep. That's why Traya. Traya means three. Avastha means a state of experience. We experience three different levels. And we are not 
this avastha, we are a witness of this avastha. And Satchidananda Sarupa. Sarupa means in the form which never gets changed. It's called Sat. So I have written Sat means existence. Chit means consciousness. And Anandaha is fullness. But full by what? Then we say is not bound by time, which is not bound by anything, in which is not bound by any space. Sat means remaining, means being. Tishtati, one who remains, are called Atma. So actually he has asked the definition of Atma, but teacher has given a long description. Then again he will ask student, what is this Thula Sukshma Sharina? Then what is Pancha Koshaha? And what is Avastha Trayasaksha? Atma will come last. First, he will ask because sentence starts with Sthula Sukshma Kara Sharira Vyatira. That's why now next will be Is there? Now, what is that Sthula Sharira? So, student has asked, Sthula Sharira Kim? Sthula Shariram Kim Panchi Krita Pancha Maha Bhutaihi Kritam Sat Karma Janyam Sukhadukkhadi Bhogayatanam Shariram Asti Chayate Vardhate Vipari Namate Apakshiyate Vinashyati Iti Shad Vipara Pata Etat Stula Shariram Main sentence is Etat Stula Shariram. This is called gross body. Stula gross body. And how it is formed? It's given Panchi Krita. Pancha Mahabhutehi. What is Panchi Krita? It will come later also. Pancha Mahabhuta. Akash, Vayu, Agni, Jala, Prithvi are called Pancha Mahabhuta. Krita. It is made up of Satta Karma Janya. It is born because of our good karma, Sat Karma. This body is bhogayatanam. Ayatanam, we say, is the residence. Like men mentioned in our front, there is a Latya mansion. Mansion means a house where people can stay. Same way, ayatanam. There is a one word. It's called residence. Ayatanam. Ayatanam of what? Then he says, Bhoga. Bhoga is not cow, beauty, and sakar. Bhoga means experience. Where we can experience ayatana means resident. Ex this resident of what? Then experiencing. Experiencing of what? Then sukha, dukha, and again adi. Adi means etc. So in which while residing, we can have experience of 
happiness, pleasure, pain, heart, different type of experience, when can it possible? This residence is called Shariram, Stula Shariram. Shiryatvat, and which type of modification is subject to modification? In total, six type of modification takes place in this body. So it's given asti, jayate, vardhate, viparinamate. Now here three, viparinamate, apakshiyate, vinashyati. This full sharira undergoes six type of modification when a child in the womb, they do pity, no pregnancy, just then there is something, somebody is coming, it's called asti asti. This is first modification. Then this baby cannot live for long time, jayate, after nine months, any, for animal I don't know, but jayate, then it not remains as a shishu. Vardhate, it grows. Viparinamate, adult or hormonal change. They say now this boy or girl become adult. It's called Viparinamate. Then we don't know how long it remains young, but time will come. Apakshriyate, the decline. Body starts. Angam palitam palitam munda. Apakshriyate. And last one is called Vinashyati. It comes in end, perishes, vinashyati. This etat sthula shariram. This is called sthula shariram. It has shed vikaravat. Vikara means modification. Shed means six. So this sthula shariram undergoes six type of modification. Asti, jayate, vardhate, viparinamate, apakshyate, vinashyati. But this detail, Panchikruta Panchamahabhutehi, all detail we will see from Monday. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnam Gachyate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Kashishyate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Shri Guru Hari Om